Sadly, this horse chestnut, we tried to salvage it a few years ago. Its top fell down across the driveway. I went out one day to get some hay and I came back and there was a huge chunk of tree across the driveway so I couldn't get in. So we cleaned it up and we hoped it would last for a few years. It did for a few years. It's now dead. So hopefully it can stay standing through the summer because I'm sure there's a lot of life in that tree. You can see here somebody's been pecking away in there. So there's lots of um, life living in that tree and in that hole. I think a bird was nesting in there or is still. But then this winter this tree will have to come down because it might blow down in a storm. So I'll have to plant a new tree there. So this copper beech despite being whacked when you can see the crumpled fence. There was a huge branch hit the perimeter fence and the copper beach when this massive, beautiful horse chestnut came down during uh, last winter. So I got the lads to chop it up and leave it in situ. So we're creating a wildlife foodery here with all this dead timber. Horse chestnut's not much good for firewood because a lot of it is pulpy. It goes really pulpy. But I got the lads to leave these two branches that had hit the ground and had rooted. This one here, which is doing really, really well and I'm really pleased with. It's even flowering. Look at that, beautiful flowers, as well as this branch here. So this branch here is doing really, really well. So I've got two trees and look at all those leaves. I'm just hoping it'll survive. You can see the branch came apart right there. And we're leaving that as counterbalance to this until it establishes itself. But that firewood pile will slowly rot down and hopefully feed these two trees. These now two trees separated because the mother tree, that huge enormous horse chestnut, fell and died. But it kept life. I'm so glad I asked the lads to keep these going and not to chop them down. It makes such a difference. And once that's rotted down, you'll be able to see them. And over there, there's another copper beech in between two larch trees. That's a larch tree and that's a larch tree. And there's larch trees here and there's a huge larch tree here. We have loads of larch trees. So my great, 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 great grandfather planted the larch trees. And in this field, we have one, two, three, four, five, six larch trees. And there's more down below. There's one there another there and then three over there. That's a lime tree right there. So yeah, everything's looking good. I don't have the dogs with me right now because I was away. You can see the quad bike down there. I was away doing something on the quad bike and I couldn't have the dogs with me. And I said, ah, oh, it's beautiful and sunny. I've got to show you guys how beautifully these two horse chestnuts are doing when the mother ship cracked up and died. She exploded in a winter storm last year.